I'm Kerry Diot, the Member of Parliament for Edmonton Griesbach. A large part of Chinatown is actually within my riding of Edmonton Griesbach. So amid the COVID pandemic, we've decided to come down and see what's happening in Chinatown, especially as the economy starts to reopen. Super Barbecue Delight has been a mainstay in Chinatown since 1992. After a difficult couple of months, owner Michael Shem says there may be light at the end of the tunnel. Before, it was just the economy was bad. It was slower, but once the pandemic hit, it's like dropped like 50% during the uh, March to April. But uh, once they start opening up again, uh, business picking up. Down the street at Dynasty Century Palace Restaurant, owner Tom Lee has needed to change how he operates. Capacity is down to 100, only a quarter of normal restaurant numbers for banquets and family gatherings. Despite the changes, Lee is seeing improvements. We really had to turn our focus on takeouts and delivery, which is quite a challenge for my restaurant because we don't specialize in that. Um, it's probably about two months now, and actually takeout and Delivery has been picking up, which is good. And uh, now there's dine-in. Uh, like I said, it's about a week into the dine-in and things are getting slowly getting better. People are getting comfortable. But as Chinatown reopens, business people are concerned about other problems besides COVID-19. Our businesses, upon the regular business problems that everyone else experiences, we, had the added, we have the added extra layer of social disorder here. Since day one, supervised injection sites have been controversial in and around Chinatown. The sites were created to help clean up the area, but business people say they're finding more needles in back alleys and vacant lots than ever before. Business operators are eager for solutions. As a business association, we don't, that's not in our toolbox to solve homelessness, but I think the cooperation of all levels of government is very important. and looking at outcomes, because we spend a lot of money here keeping homeless um, agencies, but when we look at the outcome, who is actually getting the help here? Despite these challenges, people in Chinatown, in my writing of Edmonton Griesbach, have a plan for the future. We would like to see the Chinatown area a cultural and architecturally unique destination that can complement the ICE district. And the first step towards this is securing our safety and I'm happy to say that we're making really good progress on it in the last month or so. One of the things that we can all do is come to Chinatown. These are mom and pop businesses, family businesses. Come on down, patronize them, give them your business and help them through this reopening.